A federal suspect was shot by a Pasco County deputy after a third after the suspect tried to hit the deputy with his vehicle. The deputy was not hurt and the suspect is in the hospital with non life threatening injuries. News Channel 8's Marilyn Parker is live at the Pasco County Sheriff's Office with the latest in Maryland. The suspect made comments about possibly hurting police officers. That's right. According to the sheriff's office, Tom Rose made threats to harm anyone who called the police, and he also said that he would take the cops with him. Thankfully, none of that happened, and you're going to see on video from a witness how detectives were able to get a hold of this whole situation. This video shows the arrest of a wanted man who the Pasco County Sheriff's Office said had just tried to hit one of their detectives with his car. I thank God Almighty because the suspect Tom Rose tried to kill one of our detectives today. It happened in the River Ridge community right in front of Matt Dermont's house. He heard the gunshots and started recording. It was kind of weird to come out front and I've never seen anything like that. This all started when dispatch got a tip that Tom Rose, a wanted man, was in Newport Ritchie. The sheriff's office tracked him to this Home Depot. Rose ran from them. Units fell back but kept watching. Then Rose was spotted in the River Ridge community. 11 year old Aiden Kling was home. I heard like gunshots. I thought it was backfiring of a car, but then I see like two different cars fly down here and then I see like three or four different police cars chasing after it and like I was just like, oh my God, what is happening? You see bullet holes in the car. The sheriff's office says the detective fired to get Rose to stop, saying if he was willing to harm the deputy, he would harm or kill anyone. We got him off the streets. He will be in federal prison for a long time. But hearing that detective's voice on that radio, you realize how dangerous that situation was. The FDLE is investigating this shooting. We're live in Pasco tonight. Marilyn Parker, 8 on your side.